Praise the Lord, saints. Hallelujah. To the Most Hallelujah. High God this morning. God is so good. He keeps us. Keeps us right in the palms of his hands. Carved there. That's what he says in Isaiah 49. Hallelujah. And I'm so thankful for that. Aren't you? Yeah. Amen. Let's be thankful together. Father, bless this word today here on the King's Road broadcast, Lord. That your people would be fed your good food, Lord, for the spirit man. Hallelujah. To teach us how to allow you as we surrender to you, Lord, that you teach us how to surrender. And we allow you to have your perfect work in us. Lord, we work out our salvation with fear and trembling. For it is you who are doing the work, Lord. Crush every work of darkness as we were praying before, Lord. Knock the wheels off of the machinations of the devil. Trying to tempt your people to walk in the flesh or be discouraged or doubtful or fearful. Or to be angry and unforgiving and all these other things that happen, Lord. Oh, God, we pray you throw down the works of darkness. Hallelujah. Help us to remember that we are crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, we live, yet not us, but Christ living in us and through us. Hallelujah. Expressing his life to a lost and dying world. Hallelujah. And crush the devil dragon down under our feet in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Today's message, if you love me. This is what Jesus said. Keep my commandments. Oh, hallelujah. Now, Jesus said that. He's not going to tell you to do something that you can't do. Okay? <laughs> a lot of people say, oh, I can't do that. I can't. That's a lie from hell. Okay? You can do whatever God says for you to do. So can I. So can Sharon. All of us can. Okay? We can do it. Because it's God Almighty in us doing the work, man. Hallelujah. Praise God. It's that simple. Okay. Let's pray. We'll end this broadcast. No. <laughs> but that's the truth. Think about it. Okay. If ye love me. There's an if. Okay. Keep my commandments. That's what Jesus said. We're going to look at this today. It's so vitally important that we know if we're keeping the commandments of God. Okay. Are we holding them in high regard? Are they important to us? Oh, hallelujah. Jesus said so many things throughout the scriptures. So we're in John 14. Let's begin to read John 14. The Lord's going to show us some great and mighty things. Think about Jesus now. This is right after he told Peter, Peter, you're going to deny me. Before the cock crows tonight, you're going to deny me three times if you ever knew me. Man, can you imagine? They were really crestfallen. Here, here he's saying he's, saying he's going to the cross and he just washed all their feet. He said, you do the same to one another, okay? You call me master and Lord, and you say so. That's right what you're saying. And if I, the master and the Lord and the king, have washed your feet, ye need to wash one another's feet, okay? In other words, as I have treated you, this is what Jesus is saying, as I've treated you these last three and a half years, you need to treat each other the same way. You know, Jesus, knowing every thought we think, man, he could just, I mean, absolutely, it's because of his great mercy, he doesn't just brush us aside. Follow what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. His great mercy. He had so much mercy with the apostles and all the disciples that followed him. But knowing they would all be scattered because the scripture is written, smite the shepherd and the sheep shall be scattered. And that's what happened on that night. And they've been scattered ever since. They're scattered all over the earth right now. The sheep, the true sheep. But there's a false church out there. There's a false religion out there that goes by the name of Christianity. And it's not. It's not. They're going to be exposed, aren't they? They are already. Right. But I mean, it's going to be more manifest yeah. Yeah. that they are not the true disciples of the Lord Jesus. Mm -hmm. Why? Why do I say that? Because they're not loving the Lord and they're not keeping his commandments. Okay. Now, these commandments, they're spiritual, saints. It starts in the spirit. Okay? Let's look at it. Go ahead. Verse 14, chapter 14, verse 1. So Jesus is talking to them after he gave them the discourse, and he told them he's going to the cross. He told them, I'm going to be arrested tonight, basically. But then he tells them this. Oh, hallelujah. 
Let not your heart be troubled. Oh, hallelujah. Ye believe in God, believe also in me. Oh, yeah. Oh, praise God. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. I go to prepare a place for you. Hallelujah. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself. That where I am, there ye may be also. Now, mm. isn't that a wonderful oh, promise? Oh, yeah. Hallelujah. He's preparing a place <coughs> for the true people of God. And when he gets that place prepared, he's going to come. He takes you right there. And get us. Put you right there. Hallelujah. And whither I go, ye know. And the way ye know. <coughs> Thomas said unto him, Lord, we know not whither thou goest, and how can we know the way? Thomas always doubting. Well, he didn't, he wasn't really doubting here, but he was kind of questioning. Didn't understand. Yeah, questioning. Yeah, he didn't understand. Yeah, that's it, right there. Right. Thomas said unto him, Lord, we know not whither thou goest, and how can we know the way? Jesus, you're, you're talking in parables all the time. <laughs> and he's you know. trying to get the fact that he's the way. Yeah. Jesus saith unto him, I am the way. The truth and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Okay, now, let's talk about that verse a minute. Jesus says unto him, he saith unto him, I am the way. Now, do we have questions sometimes in our Christian walk about how is this going to get done? Or how am I going to do this? Or how am I going to do that? What way am I supposed to go? Jesus said, I am the way. You see, we draw upon Jesus. Lord, I remember when I was building the shed, I started to build it the first time. And it was like, boy, Lord. We had the most hardest time just to put the post in the ground. Once we got the post set, 12 posts, then Sharon couldn't help me anymore because I had to do it, had to get up high. It's, you know, it was 12 feet. It's 12 feet in the air. It was 14 feet, but now it's 12 feet. So I had to get up high. To build this thing and it's 14 feet wide and using two by sixes and I'm like Lord you know how what way how am I gonna do this well what happened is the Lord just started speaking to me do this John remember how you used to do that remember how you used to do that and I so I had two clamps and I put the clamps on the four by fours to hold my board in place while I leveled it got it all put together we tore it all down we came over here where we're living now on our property the Lord give us and I had to put it back up. And the same thing. But this time, it just went smoother, didn't it? It, mm -hmm. it was it was like, praise God. I knew exactly how to do it. It took me two and a half months to put it up. And it's got a lot of wood on it. And it's solid. But Jesus says, I am the way. How can I make it, Lord, across town? I don't even have a car. Jesus says, I'm the way. Just begin walking. See? And you start walking and somebody pulls over. Hey, you need a lift? Where are you headed? Oh, I'm headed over to Greenbrier over there. Oh, that's right where I'm going. Get in. You ride to town. See what I'm saying? Just like that. Jesus is the way. Be obedient to him, and then he makes the way, doesn't he? Yeah, it's always stepping out in faith. Right. That's his way. That's it. Oh, there you go. There you go. Pinpoint it. That's Zero way. down. Stepping that's right. out in faith. And Venturi. The thing is, he wants us to come to him about everything. He wants us to totally depend on him for everything. Hallelujah. And and totally depend on him for guidance and um, showing us how to do stuff like he showed right, you how right, to do right, that. Right. And he still does that. Right. He still shows us how to do certain things, you know, and utilize what we have or whatever. Right, and, that's right. You know, if we go to him about everything, 
he knows everything, does he not? Right. He's the and way. so he knows, Amen. he knows what the best way is too, right? He's the truth. So, he knows the best way. Yeah. Amen. So you can't lose on depending on the Lord completely for everything, for guidance, for everything. And he's the life. Protection for he, everything. He's the life. He's the energy. He's what keeps you going, the Lord, because the Lord he is in is. you. He is. So many times, Hallelujah. man, you just, you don't feel like you can go on physically, but you just don't have the strength or maybe willpower or anything else. But if you call out to the Lord, Lord, I need you. I need you to empower me and strengthen me to keep going forward. He will. That's right. And it'll be a supernatural strength that you'll just be like, Wow. wow. <laughs> Amen. That's right. See, Jesus saith unto him, let me read that again. I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Okay? See? But by me. I'm going to look that word by up. Uh, the channel or an act of an act, of an act. Okay? Through. Okay? See? By reason of. See, because of the Lord Jesus, you can't you can't go to the Father except by Him. That's it. Okay, you you can't go. Rosicrucianism teaches you can go through all the avatars. You know, all the different gods that people worship. They're all the same God. Mm -hmm. No, it's not. No, they're not. Okay, there's only one true and living God. Okay. Hear, O Israel, the Lord your God, the Lord is one. Okay, there's not. 10, 15, 20. Baal is not God. Ostaroth is not God. Molech is not God. You see what I'm saying? Aphrodite is not God. All right? Uh, Diana is not God. These are false gods. They're the devil. That's what they are. They're evil spirits. Okay? Drawing people away because people want to see something. That's part of of being a Catholic, you want to see something. They venerate statues. I know I was in that, okay? Venerating statues of saints, lighting candles, all this stuff. That's not God. That's the devil, okay? That's the devil. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. Amen? Amen. Amen. Verse 7. Okay, verse John 7. John 14, 7. If ye had known me, you should have known <coughs> my Father also. Mm. And from henceforth ye know him and have seen him. Mm. Hallelujah. Why? Because you're looking at him. Right. Jesus is I am the Through Father. Jesus, me and the Father are right one. There. Hallelujah. That's right. Philip said unto him, Lord, show us the Father, and it sufficeth, sufficeth us. Jesus saith unto him, Have I been so long time with you, and yet hast thou not known me, Philip? There it is. He that hath seen me has seen the Father. And how sayest thou then, show us the Father? See, he's, he's saying right there, we're one. Right. Him and the Father and then the Holy <coughs> Spirit are one. That's is that right. three? That's three. You know, people say this about the Trinity. Well, Trinity only means three. Are there three? The Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost? Right. <laughs> and they never do anything without the other, ever. The Father does nothing without the Son and the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit does nothing without the Son and the Father. Okay? See what I'm saying? The Son does nothing without the Father and the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit. Jesus was filled with the Holy Spirit. Amen? Amen. And he was a man, but he only did what the father was saying to do. You see, on the day he was baptized, the heavens opened up. The spirit came down upon him as a dove. OK, so John the Baptist would recognize and see he's the Lamb of God. OK, that's why that happened. Jesus was conceived by the Holy Spirit, filled with the Holy Spirit from his mother's womb. He, he didn't have to have the Holy Spirit come down to fill him. OK, he's God in the, flesh. He, the Holy Spirit came down. At that moment to show the world to show John the Baptist okay so he could see because he said in the word that the Lord told him you know you will see the Spirit descending and so he saw that and Jesus is standing there and the Spirit comes upon him and the Father says 
This is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. So there's three. Okay. So I'm saying the voice of the father. This is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. On the Mount of Transfiguration, you had Jesus on the Mount, the Holy Spirit. Father God and the Holy Spirit just bursting out of him. Just his clothes were just whiter than whiter than anything. The, the light was shining out of him. The apostles and a bright cloud came and you hear the voice of God. This is my son in whom I am well pleased. Hear ye him. You see? So this teaching of no trinity, that's just something the devil is trying to dissuade people and pull them down. And he wants to pull Jesus down to a lower level when Jesus is equal with the Father. One with the Father. Yeah. Jesus in his humanity deferred to the Father. What does that mean? I have to defer to God. I have to say, Father, whatever you want. Just like Jesus did. Right. In the Bible, the word Trinity is not in the Bible. But the word Trinity means three. three. This is where the devil is stoving people up so much. Right. Because it's triune. The triune God. Right. Amen. Father, Son... And Holy Spirit. And they're one. And they're one. Absolutely one. a lot one. of people will say, no, it's just the Father. Right. Everything's in the Father. Right. You know, it's like there's so many different kind of uh, beliefs out there. And the Bible's very clear. There are three. We just read it the other day in, in the 1 Godhead. John 5. Amen. Amen. Three. Separate, but yet one. Right. Okay. Now, you're not going to get around that. I don't care what doctrine a person is teaching. You're just not going to get around that. That's what the Word of God says. There are three right. in the Godhead. That's right. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. That's right. So, I mean, people, I don't understand why they believe things like that when they're truly filled with the Spirit of God. Because they're denying what the Word of God says. Amen. And right. tripping up on one word, Trinity. When that's exactly what it is. Triune. <laughs> Hallelujah. God. No, the word Trinity is not in the Bible, but the three <clears throat> are. We're going to see it right here. Keep reading. Verse 10. Believest thou not that I am in the Father and the Father in me? The words that I speak unto you, I speak not of myself, but the Father that, that dwelleth, dwelleth in, in me. me. He, he doeth, doeth the, the works. works. You see, they're, they're not separated. Right. Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Whenever he was baptized, when he was walking on the earth, the dove represented the Holy Spirit. Right. And then they heard the Father's voice, right. and then there was Jesus. Right. Three, once again. Believe me that I am in the Father, and the Father in me, or else believe me for the very work's sake. Okay, verse 12. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believeth on me, and the works that I do, the works that I do, shall he do also. Oh, now, hallelujah. oh, listen, let's read that again. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believeth on me, the works that I do, shall he do also. Now, I'm re Minded of that conversation we had the other day in Walmart with that man that we met. And he was talking as well. We don't realize the power that God has placed in us. Right. God is in you. He's all God powerful. God has placed in us his power. He's in us. The three in one is in us. Right. They say, I will come and I will dwell with you. I will abide with you. Well, what does that mean? That means they're in us. Right. We're, we're fixing to read all that. The three in one. It's all right in here us. in John 14. Just what you're saying. <laughs> I'm telling you. It's right here in the scripture. See? So, see, I don't understand. I don't under, understand why the conflict. I know. And that's the thing about the scripture. It's right in there. Okay. If people are teaching you things and, and saying things, and you listen to them on YouTube, and they're saying things. They misquote the scripture. They they don't. Uh, they saying things that's not in the scripture, or they're adding to the scripture, or twisting the scripture to say something it's not saying. Okay, taking it out of context, man. Shun that person. Don't listen to that person. You might try to correct them. 
We've tried to correct so many. We well, just would not believe. Okay, does it? Does it? Sometimes they'll they'll receive the correction. See, we've had people receive correction and then turn around and go into another heresy on another yeah. way, and it's Angry. because yeah. it's because it boils down to if ye love me, keep my commandments. See, man wants to be God. That's what the whole garden was about. Okay. God put that tree in the middle. He said, do not eat of that tree. That's the commandment, right? In the day you eat thereof, you're going to die. And the devil said, you shall not surely die. See, God knows in the day you eat it, you're going to be like him. You're going to be like him. You're going to know good and evil. You're going to, oh, you're going to be something special. See? And so people have these false teachings out there, saints, and they think there's something special. They're the only ones that have the revelation, you see. And everyone else, they can sucker into believing their lies. You see what I'm saying? But it boils down, once again, if you love me, okay? Keep my commandment. Now, he's always, he's always doing the deal of, okay, we're going to prove whether you love me or not, okay? Right, okay, if right. you love me, you will keep my commandments, okay? If you love me, you will obey me. Right. See? That's how he can prove we love him. That's right. That's exactly right. Because he said, if you love me, you will obey me. You will <coughs> right. obey me. Right. If you love me, you will keep my commandments. That's right. See? And so many others in there. Right. Amen. Okay. Verse 12. Read verse 12 all the way through. Barely, barely. Go ahead, because it, it, oh, it's Bare, one sentence. Barely, barely, I say unto you, he that believeth on me, the works that I do, shall he do also. And greater works than these shall he do, because I go unto my Father. Hallelujah, hallelujah. And whatsoever you shall ask, in my name. In my name. That will I do. Now, once again, according to his will. Right. In other scriptures, according to his will. In my name means according to his character. What was Jesus' character? What did Jesus want to do? Everything the Father said to do. To glorify the Father. See, that has to be our motive. Hallelujah, right there. Because a lot of these places will say, And whatsoever ye shall ask. This is what Jesus said. And whatsoever ye shall ask in my name, that will I do. Okay, I'm going to ask God for a new Lamborghini. <laughs> I'm going to ask God for a three, five-story house. A three, five-story house? A 30, wow, that's a big <laughs> house. <clears throat> you see right there where God's will comes in? With that, you gotta, you gotta. Does God tell you to pray for that? According to God's will. That's right. That's right. According to God's will. That's right. And whatsoever you shall ask in my name, that will I do. So it's not the other. Right. That the Father may be glorified in the Son. Is the Father going to be glorified in the Son if you get a new Lamborghini? And you're strutting a around real saying, fancy duty Look car at that my Lamborghini. A real fancy duty car that you are paying out the wazoo every month for? Is that glorifying God? You better start thinking about these that's things. Right, that's right. Because what we do, if it's not to the glory of God and glorifying God, then you better get rid of it. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Because Jesus walked the walk of humility. That's right. He had nowhere to lay his head. Right. Hallelujah. If ye shall ask anything in my name, I will, I will do, it. do it. I will do it. Anything in my name, once again, his character. Right. What is Jesus' character? The Father. Dying to self. Dying to self. See? Uh, glorifying God. Right. You take delight in the Lord, he gives you the desires of your heart. God puts the desire in you, what he wants for your life, what he wants to give you to express through you the life of his dear son hallelujah you see you might be going through something and man you know lord i have done everything you've asked me to do and lord i've got this big trial right here maybe you're maybe you're short on some finances and you can't get that one bill paid that has to be paid by a certain date okay 
but you've done everything God's asked you to do according to what you understand and know, and you, and you go to the Lord and the Lord and you say, Lord, really, I need some help. I need you to help me, God. I'm asking you for this. Lord, please supply it. And then not 30 minutes later, bam, God supplies it. And what is that? That's for his glory. See, then you meet someone at work or you see someone down the road at the Walmart, wherever, and, and they're going through something similar. And because you were obedient before that happened to you and you prayed and God answered you, God came through mightily for you. You're able to help that person. See, it's glorifying Christ. It's according to the Lord Jesus Christ. See, Jesus could have told Peter every single day, Peter, go down to the lake and catch a fish and get us some more money. See, every day, you just go down there and get a fish and get us some more money, Peter. See, take that coin out of its mouth. There's another one down there. Wake up in the morning. There's another one. Go get that other coin, Peter. But he didn't, did he? See, they needed it at that time. And Jesus knew. Go down. Because the father was telling him, go down there. Soldier just dropped a coin and the fish got it. It's caught in its mouth. I don't want that fish to die. Go down there and get that, get that coin out of there. Pay the tax for you and me. You see? Just like that. And Jesus can do anything, saints. He, he's, he's, he's not bound by the ways of this world. Jesus isn't bound by the universal, uh, the universe and the laws of the universe and science and all this stuff that we see. There are laws in the universe. God established them. But he is not bound by those. He can supersede those. Mm -hmm. You follow what I'm saying? He can, he, he can, he can go anywhere and, and show up anywhere right now today. Hallelujah. Don't you know he lives inside of you? You're born again filled with the Spirit of God. Jesus Christ lives inside of us. Okay? If he can hang on the cross and say, Father, forgive them for they don't know what they do, how come we can say, I'm not going to forgive that person? I'm never going to forgive them for what they did to me. That's a lie from hell. You better be forgiving them. Because Jesus said in the Word, yeah. if you don't forgive your brother who sins against you, neither will my Father forgive you your trespasses. So are you going to heaven if he doesn't forgive no, you? No, you're not going to heaven. Okay. See, people are deceived about that. That's right. I mean, it's pretty plain. If we don't forgive, he's not going to forgive us. That's well, right. if we, if he has not forgiven us, we're not going to be living with him in heaven. That's right. For eternity. That's right. You see how serious it is to hold unforgiveness. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Amen. If you shall ask anything in my name, I will do it. Now, here's verse 15. Here is the title of today's broadcast. Go ahead, Sharon. If we, if, if ye love me, keep my commandments. Keep If ye love me, keep my commandments. Now, love there is the action verb, agapeo. It only proceeds from agape. You cannot say, oh, I have agape love for God without having the action. Okay? You, you just can't. Once again, get back to the unforgiveness thing, okay? How can you say you love God whom you have seen, John wrote in 1 John chapter 4, and but don't love your brother, okay? How can you say you love God whom you have not seen, but then say, I love my brother whom I see? You can't, John said, and I'm going to turn there and read that. It's important because we're talking about keeping the commandments of the Lord. It's so vitally important, saints. Hallelujah. And he does the work in us, what we were saying at the beginning of the broadcast. Verse 20, verse 19, 1 John chapter 4, verse 19. We love him because he first loved us. That's agapeo. That's the action. If a man say, I agapeo God, I action God, and hateth his brother, he is a liar. For he that actioneth not his brother, loveth not his brother, whom he had seen, how can he action love God whom he hath not seen? And this commandment have we from him, that he who loveth God love his brother also. That is action. All those love there is the agape o, not agape. 1 John 4, 8. He that loveth not God, action God, for God, he that loveth not, knoweth not God. For God is love, agape. Agape is the noun, benevolence, 
God, Almighty God. He just absolutely all the time giving, giving, giving. Sunshine, rain, plants, food, everything that we have. Every Don't you know everything you see today, everything you look at with your eyes today, proceeded from the earth. Do you know that? Every single person is made of the dust of the ground. Amen? It's a miracle. Life. Okay? All the food we eat today came from the earth. And the, even the things that are made. Every, everything that's made mm -hmm. came from the earth. Mm -hmm. Plastic, all these, these silicon, metal. silicon is glass, metal, wood, wood mm -hmm. gold, silver, precious stones, bronze, brass, steel, iron, ore, all these things, fire, comes from the earth. God gives everything. God is love. He's agape. And because he is, he actioned that. He said, let there be light. He, he's just almighty God. And Jesus said, if ye love me, keep my commandments. That means hold them in high regard. That means keep them in the forefront of your, of your thoughts. His commandments to love, to have mercy, to forgive turn the other cheek right all these different things amen you could go on for hours just talking about all the commandments of God we just we saw that video that one time or it was a teaching that somebody had and there's like so many commandments recorded in the Old Testament and then there's like like 600 more in the New Testament or something you see commandments of God but you don't hear a lot of talk about the commandments why because people are commanding unto themselves well, they say they're done away with. Yeah, yeah, but they're not. They're right here. Mm -hmm. Jesus wouldn't be talking about it, and it wouldn't be recorded here if it's not true. It is the truth. Verse 16. And I will pray the Father, and he shall give you another comforter, that he may <coughs> abide with you forever, forever, the Holy Spirit. Yes, yes. Yeah. That he may abide with you forever. Even this spirit of truth, there you go. The spirit of truth, not the spirit of error, the spirit of truth. And the spirit of truth is going to lead us into all truth. And if we get off into some kind of error, he's going to be, boy, right and left, red flag, red flag. That's right. Conviction, conviction. Right. You're not going to be able to stay in error if you've got the true spirit of God in amen, you. Amen, amen. Even the spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive, because it seeth him not. In other words, I can't see you, I don't believe you, or receive you. Neither knoweth him, the world can't receive him, and, can't, and doesn't know him. But ye know him, you spirit-filled believer. Yep. You know him, ye know him. Why? For he dwelleth. With, with you, you. And, shall, and be shall be in, in you. you hallelujah oh praise okay? god so you have the witness you have the witness when you oh, have the holy spirit hallelujah yes ma'am praise god i will not leave you comfortless okay devil comes in ah god left you he's not going to comfort you he's not going to help you uh, wait a minute let's see john 14:18 I will not leave you comfortless. comfortless. Jesus I said will that. come to you. Yeah. I will come to you. Oh, hallelujah. So Lord, see, thank the, you. When the devil Woo! comes in with those things, get out of here, you filthy, stinking devil. Liar. Get behind me. Oh, hallelujah. Now, look, look at verse 19. Yet a little while, and the world seeth me no more. But ye see me. Because I live, ye shall live also. Because I live, ye shall live also. That's what Jesus said. Now you think about that a minute. Jesus said, because I live, ye shall live also. Oh, hallelujah. That's a whole message right there. You shall because be in <laughs> resurrection life also. Hallelujah. 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 And Jesus is in a... a flesh and bone bodies the Bible says so you can touch his body right. okay that resurrected body yeah and we're gonna have the same kind of body 
That's right. Except no sickness, no sorrow, no pain. Right. We're going to have a glorified body like him. Right. Oh, hallelujah. That's Praise a glorified God. body. Amen. But Jesus, it was a body that they could touch. Flesh and bone. Flesh and bone. That's, That's what right. it says. That's right. He that hath my commandments and keepeth them. Wait a minute. Verse 20. Oh, skipped it. That's okay. At that day, ye shall know that I am in my Father. Here it is again. I am in my Father, and ye in me, and I in you. That's the way it works. Wow. He's in the Father, and he's in us. Now, here we go again. Verse 21, very important. Listen. Okay, the title of the message, If you love me, keep my commandments. So listen to what Jesus says here. Verse he, 21. He that hath my commandments and keepeth them, he it is that loveth me. That's the action. Action. Now, what do you think is going on with those that said, oh, that's all. All those commandments are done away with. That's the Old Testament. It's done away with. Do they love him that are teaching that? And that are even believing that? You know, I don't, I don't want to. I, I, don't, I want to say this because this is so true. Because I'm just going to say it because it's honestly true. I have never heard a preacher preach on love and break down the words agapeo and agape. Never. In all of my life. They always agape, 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 agape. Have they looked at the scripture? Have they looked at the text? I've never heard it before. Because it means something to me. And I know it means something to God. God shows his love. Okay. You can say you love somebody all day long and not love them. See? Amen? Amen. I mean, I'm serious. There are people that need action in their life. A love that's moving. A love that's doing. A love that's showing. You see what I'm saying? That's bringing the Lord Jesus to people. Because we can say we love the world. I love the world. You know, God said he, he loved the world. I love the world. But see, that word love, when God says, I, God so loved the world, that was action. Okay, that was how did God, he did something, you see. Mm -hmm. He sent his only begotten son. Hallelujah. He to died. Die. Yeah, he died, that's right. Yeah, to that flesh. Yeah, all the way to the cross. All the way. Mm -hmm. Okay, he that hath my commandments and keepeth them, he it is that loveth me. He actions me. And he that loveth me actions me and shall be loved actioned of my father hallelujah <laughs> and i will love him i'll action him and will manifest myself to him oh <laughs> jesus i love you thank you jesus hallelujah you are worthy lord you said you're going to manifest yourself to us lord oh praise your holy name oh lord we tremble before you you're so holy Oh, Lord, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Holy are you, Lord. Praise your holy name, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for your word today. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Verse 22. Judas saith unto him, Not Iscariot, <coughs> Lord, how is it that thou wilt manifest thyself unto us, and not unto the world? Well, see, there's a key right here, too. Jesus answered and said unto him, I want to read this thing right here. This is a quote by T. Austin Sparks, and it fits right in here. Now I'm going to just read this again, John 14, 22. Judas saith unto him, Not Iscariot, Lord, how is it that thou wilt manifest thyself unto us, and not unto the world? Now I want to read this quote by T. Austin Sparks. When you and I launch out into great public movements, displaying and advertising, we expose the work of God and open it to infinite perils. Our safety is in keeping where God has put us in the hidden secret place with himself. Oh, hallelujah. Now, you see Amen. how that ties in there? He's not going to manifest himself to the world. To the world. Oh, hallelujah. 
But so many ministries now are trying to do that very thing. You've got to do what God is telling you to do, no matter how small you think it is. God's not going to put your name on the marquee, okay? It's about Him and lifting Him up. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. We have to understand God's ways are not our ways. And when people think something is small in their eyes, I guarantee you God is doing a mighty thing behind the scenes. Oh, he is. Sister. Bigger than you can even imagine. Amen, sister. It's just that the eyes of men and women don't see it. And that's exactly the way God wants it. Hallelujah. That's right. That's right. Verse 23. Jesus answered and said unto Jesus him. Jesus answered and said unto him, If a man love me, he will keep my words. Okay, there it is again. Proof that we love him. He will keep my words. And my father will love him. And we will come unto him and make our abode with him. Jesus and the father? will come to us and make their abode with mm -hmm. us. Oh, hallelujah. So, oh, we have the Father, hallelujah. Son, and Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, the Trinity inside. Three, hallelujah. three, three. The complete Godhead. Can we wrap our head around no, that? No, no, no. No. That's get rid of the reason. But see, you can't say, I only have the Holy Spirit. Whenever he says... I am in my Father, and He is in me, right. and, and I gonna... sent the Holy Spirit. <laughs> right. You can't separate them. That's right. They're one. That's right. Now, do you see the power that God's placed within us? We just don't realize it. But at the, at the given time, at the given time, He will let that rise up. He will let that come out. It's just like, when we were at Walmart that time. And just the very simple things of life. God can do such a wonderful thing. And just all of a sudden. You just have a bursting out of his spirit. And you just know. I'm supposed to pray for that person. I'm supposed to lay hands on him. And God's going to heal him. And then. He does. He does. <laughs> See. It's not oh, about no, us. No. It's not about us or getting any recognition for what God is doing through us. Amen. When people start wanting recognition for what God is doing through, through them, then that's where there's going to be a downfall. Guaranteed. That's right. Guaranteed. That's right. God's not going to let no one else get his glory. And when that starts happening, you can bet. Expect <coughs> God to do something. Because he's not going to let you slide in to his place or anyone else to get his glory. Amen. He's just not going to let it happen. Hallelujah. He that loveth me not. Keepeth not my sayings. And, oh. the, and the word which ye hear is not mine, but the Father's which sent me. Well, listen, is there any interpretation needed for that verse? Nope. You know, so many will twist these scriptures. And once again, love it. There is the action. See, they, they don't keep his word. They don't keep his saying. They don't action and do as he says. Okay. He that loveth me. All right. Is this plain or what? He that loveth me not. Keepeth not my sayings. And the word which ye hear is not mine. But the, but the fathers, fathers which, which sent me. me. This word that Amen. you're hearing right, right now, right. it's not ours, but the fathers Hallelujah. that has sent us, Amen. that sent Jesus, right. and sent us, right. and sent many others. And sent you, listening. He Hallelujah. sent you every day. Hallelujah. Praise God. These things have I spoken unto you, being yet present with you. But the Comforter, which is the Holy Ghost. Now, see how plain he's mm -hmm. being right here? Hallelujah. But the Comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, whom the Father will send in my name, 
He will teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance. Whatsoever, Whatsoever I, I have, have said, said unto, unto you. you. I love it. See, they're one. That's right. Peace I leave with you. My peace I give unto, unto you. you. Not as the world giveth, which depends on circumstances. Not, not as the world giveth, give I unto you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. Amen. You have heard how I said unto you, I go away and come again unto you. If ye loved me, ye would rejoice, because I said, I go unto the Father. For my Father is greater than I. Now, that's where a lot of people say, see, Jesus is lower than the Father. Listen, Jesus in his humanity, he became as one of us. In his humanity, he is down here, but he in the Spirit, he's one with the Father. Do you see? And today... We are down here. Jesus in his glorified body, flesh and bone. Nobody else except Enoch and Elijah probably have a flesh and bone body. Okay. But Enoch and Elijah, they might have just been, you know, put into a spiritual state as well. We really don't know. We know they were taken up in their bodies. Okay. But, but we don't know for sure how they are today in heaven. But here's the thing. Jesus in heaven is in a flesh and bone body. Okay. All right. Is that right? And here we are right here in a flesh and bone with blood. We have our blood still, right? Amen. Hallelujah. Jesus poured his soul out. Where's that soul today? It's in his people. Amen. His life is in us, right? His spirit. He gave his life, right? What did he give? His life. Where's the life? In the blood. He poured out his precious blood. And where's that today? It's in us. We overcome the dragon because of the blood of the lamb the life of the lamb the living blood that ron white found on top of the mercy seat you follow what i'm saying yeah. the living blood okay that blood is alive today and it's flowing through us hallelujah it's flowing through you who believe hallelujah god is teaching us something mighty today right here something very mighty you heard how that i said unto you i go away and come again unto you if ye love me Action me. You would rejoice because I said I go unto the Father. For my Father is greater than I. Hallelujah. See. And I don't have to try to make it say something else. Jesus, that's what he said. Hallelujah. And I believe what he said. See. And now I have told you before it come to pass. That when it is come to pass, you might believe. Hallelujah. Oh, go ahead, honey. Verse 30. Hereafter. I will not talk much with you, for the prince of this world cometh and hath nothing hath in me. Hath nothing in me. The devil doesn't have nothing in Jesus. Hallelujah. But that the world may know that I love the Father, and as the Father gave me commandment, even so I do. Arise, let us go here. Now, let me read that last verse. Oh, praise God. Verse 30 again. Hereafter, I will not talk much with you. For the prince of this world cometh and hath nothing in me. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, that's beautiful, isn't it? I want to get to that place where I know, boy, the devil don't have nothing in me. He don't. By faith. You understand? He don't. See what I'm saying? But the devil, he come and tempt a person. He come and tempt us. And if I give in, see what I'm saying? It's, he's got his hook back in me. Mm -hmm. No, I rebuke the devil in Jesus' name. But that the world may know that I action love the Father. <laughs> and as the Father gave me commandment, even so I do. Arise, let us go hence. What commandment is that? To die on the tree. See? What a wonderful God we have. Look how smart God is. He's so smart. Okay? I mean, he knew. He knew what was going on. I mean... The Father knows everything. He planned it all. Hallelujah. We talked about the foolish things, you know. How the foolishness of God is wiser than men. See? And and they really thought they were getting rid of their enemy. 
in, in doing that. And people will do that with you, saints. Your enemy will think that they're doing you in. And at the same time, they think that you, they're doing you in, they're doing their self in. Exactly. See, and that's the foolishness of God. And it only happens when we are walking in his way, keeping his commandments, doing as he does, as he says. If they slap you on the right cheek, John, turn to them the left cheek. If they slap you on the left cheek, then hit them right in the face. No, Jesus didn't say that. He said they turn the other cheek. That's what he said. If they tell you to go a mile with them, John, go two. Double it. If they come and try to take your, your cloak, give them your coat too. See, these are commandments of Jesus. Amen. And you know, I think if the enemies of God and his people, <coughs> they looked at the scripture that says, what you plan or scheme for them, speaking of God's people, is going to happen to you. That's maybe, why the devil's deceived yeah, them not maybe, to believe this. Maybe they wouldn't be doing what they're doing because the Bible plainly states whatever you're scheming, planning, trying to do harm to God's people, the Bible says it's going to happen to you. That's right. That's right. That's what it says. That's right. I don't so, know. you know, maybe people wouldn't be doing what they're doing if they really believed the Word of God. Like they don't that. believe the Word of yeah. God. That's the thing. I know. They don't believe into the Word. But Hallelujah. see, it happens. When That's the right. Lord says it will happen, it happens. That's right. Praise God. Hallelujah. Father God, thank you for this holy word today, Lord. It's such a powerful word. Oh, Shanda Malamaki. Lord, we need to stay right here in John for a while, Lord, because there's so much power right here, so much revelation you're giving me today, giving us today, Lord. Oh, we just bless and praise your holy name. Thank you. Lord, keep us, guard us, oh God. As you say, Lord, you we we're we're to keep your commandments. We're to guard them. We're we're to, Lord, be obedient to you. And that shows the action that we love you, Lord. Hallelujah. That we love you, Lord. And love one another. Hallelujah. And the truth. Hallelujah. Lord, I ask you just to throw down every work of darkness, Lord, upon the mind of your church, your people, Lord. And let our minds be clear today. Just hearing your voice saying, this is the way, walk in. And when we turn to the right or to the left, hallelujah, we will be obedient to you, Lord. Because we love you. And you love us. Hallelujah. Because you first loved us, we're able to love you back, Lord, with that action showing you that we love you. Not just giving you lip service, Lord, where our hearts are far from you. No, no, no. We want to be one heart with you, Jesus, this very day by the Holy Spirit and your precious blood. Hallelujah. And crush the dragon under our feet. In your holy name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. A couple of program notes here. Go ahead. Yeah. Um. We need to let you know as well that coming into this spring time and summer, uh, we're going to be changing things up a little bit. Uh, the Kings Road broadcast is going to be starting at 6 a.m. Central Time. Central Time. Instead of 7. And also, um, we're going to be uh, starting back up the morning devo devotional during this time and the evening devotional is not going to be going on during this time so it's going to be switched to the morning devotional and that's going to be at 8 a.m monday through friday Amen. so and also um we may be starting back up the wednesday night bible the wednesday study. night bible study we'll let you know about that right here on spreaker yeah. and then if so, you if you come that'd be great and you can get in the chat. We have a chat window on Spreaker. If you if you just get an account on Spreaker, it doesn't cost nothing. And then you can come in and chat and ask questions or whatever if you want to do that. Hallelujah. And also, since uh, I know there was lots of people going to Google+, Plus, where we post all the posts to the blogs and, you know, the um, videos that we do on YouTube and <laughs> also these messages too but Google Plus is shut down now so there is a link to Twitter on this link you're listening to and I'm not sure if there's a link to Facebook but you can go to the link that's on this link 
for witness and testimony the YouTube channel and on that page there is a link where the picture is to the Facebook so if you want to listen or come and um, check out those blogs and stuff and then um, subscribe to those blogs so that when there's a new post on there you'll be able to be notified about that so those are the changes for right now and you can also go to the link on the blog here and that will lead you to the other blogs there on the right side of the blog uh, page there so did I miss anything I don't oh. think you got it all. Uh, the yeah. email address is the Kings Road 2000 at gmail.com the Kings Road 2000 at gmail.com and also uh, behold a new thing at yahoo.com and also praise the Lord we just thank God for those whom he chooses to use to support the work here uh, everything that we need for this ministry to continue and it's our life okay this ministry is our life this is what the Lord's called us to do this is our work in our life it's the ministry hallelujah comes from God and he uses chosen vessels and we just bless God for those chosen vessels that are obedient to him amen, amen. hallelujah and the Lord's special blessing upon them hallelujah how he chooses amen yes. hallelujah give him a good blessing today Lord in Jesus name hallelujah the Lord bless you keep you make his holy face to shine upon you the Lord our God lift up his holy countenance on you and grant you peace the Lord be gracious unto you today his name, that's his authority, his character, his dominion, his rule and reign. Hallelujah. His humility be in and upon your life today as you go forth conquering and to conquer. In Jesus' name, amen. Glory to the King. Hallelujah.